Hey YouTubers, uh, welcome back to another beer review. Monschaff, I guess that's how you say it. Killer beer, unfiltered German lager. Killer beer means cellar beer. They are located in Kolmbach, I'm guessing, Germany. Here's a bottle. It's a cellar with a bunch of uh, barrels, as you can tell. And it's also a flip top. There's a story in the back here. It says killer beer. Keller meaning cellar beer is a daily drink of Franconia, Upper Bavaria, the greatest brewing region of Germany and arguably the world. In the old days, Keller beer was fermented down the basements by farmer brewers in oak casts and served in hazy and filtered yeast. Today, of course, technology has advanced and Keller beer remains both intellectually fascinating and gut level flavorful. That's the paragraph I read up top there. I went to the brewery website and there was virtually no information on the beer. I have no idea how long this beer has been around, but I'm finding most German beers have been around at least usually a couple hundred years. As far as I know, this is an all year round beer. This single bottle cost me $4. I would imagine Pilsner malt, maybe another couple other malts. Hard to say. They're very secretive about the ingredients. Possibly a little bit sweet, maybe just a little bit of maltness, malty flavor. There may be a little bit of bread flavor to it. It should be a brighter beer. It should be a light in flavor, probably a light body, maybe medium body. This is a lager as opposed to an ale, so it's fermented at a cooler temperature, longer than an ale would be. The bottle does not say the alcohol anywhere on it, but the importer does, 5.4%. No mention of the bitterness. I'm really not that familiar with them. Since they're cellar beer, it's a lager, it's unfiltered, gonna be a clear, bright, possibly a little bit sweet, a little bit malty, clean finish to it. This is a style I've only, I think, had a couple of times ever. Looks like I was wrong about this. I expected it to be bright, clear, Somewhat hazy, a little bit murky of a brown or possibly a medium amber. That color that you see off to this side right here, that's the most accurate. Head's about a quarter inch. There's no sediment floating in it. This is unfiltered. I'm sure that it's a yeast haze. Slightly transparent. Can you see my finger back there? Yeah, you can. I get a little bit of malty in it, but it's pretty faint. Just a touch of sweetness. Brown sugar comes to mind for some reason. Little touches of caramel. I'm thinking the brown sugar, dash of maltiness. That's about it. Sticks the roof of my mouth. About 90% of it's up there. Virtually nothing on my tongue. Tiny bit candy, sweet, malty. Gives a soft coating of those flavors. No bitterness. Tiny bit of caramel, malty, that sugary, maybe some touches of toffee, light sweetness, possibly a tiny bit of toasted in there. I'm not getting any bread, grain, biscuity flavors out of this. I thought I might. There is a subtle richness from the malt, but it seems like the malt in the, is in the backbone. As far as the lager goes, clean, crisp, and bright, this is none of them. It's a little chewy. It's not thin and watery. I think this is probably a fairly simple recipe. I feel most of the flavors are coming from the malts. There's a little bit of character to this, you know, from those different sweet and sugary and a little bit of the malty, the, the caramel and stuff I talked about. It's not overly complex. It does have a huge flavor profile, but what's there is all right. All it goes atop my mouth again. It doesn't fall off the back or sides. It just hangs there for a short period of time and just evaporates. But now I get toasted, malty flavors. It seems like the toasted is a little more noticeable out of the bottle. The maltiness, the sweet, the dark sugar is not as obvious out of the bottle. The toasted definitely takes a front seat. I sipped it quite a while ago now, I can still taste a little bit of residual toasted flavor. Some complexity to it. The mouthfeel is still the same, it's kind of uh, rich and chewy. 
There are no off flavors I can tell on this. I don't get any buttery flavors. I don't get any chemical flavors. Fusel alcohols, astringency, nothing sharp, skunky bottle, rotten fruit, DMS, papery, nothing. Will I buy this again? No, I won't. I don't mind some of the sweet flavors, but the toast is a little too dominant. I just don't like the flavor profile. Would I recommend it? You might try it out because if you like the flavors I described, you might like this beer. I've only had a couple of them. I like the other ones better. I think this one is way below average. I don't like coffee and toasted roasted flavors. I don't think it fits the style properly. This is just not impressive. Montreal, I guess. Keller beer. Unfiltered German lager. If you have any comments, suggestions, thoughts, feedback, credit card numbers, bank account numbers, anything you want to pass on, girls' phone numbers, those are always welcome, send them my way. That's all I have for this review. I'm going to finish off this killer beer. Cheers. I'm going to open this bottle up now. How the hell do I get this thing open? There we go. <laughs> the flavors I had, uh, fuck, I don't want to say this. What the hell's up with that? Munch, uh, fuck. Or cellar with some beer bottle or beer cakes or some kind of cake. No, barrels. I don't know why I'm calling those cakes. Those are barrels. I'll finish it off. It's not so bad. It's a drain port.